Hey everyone, welcome back to Williamson Ridge Outdoors. Today we are standing out here by our stack of firewood rounds and our Easton Bay 916 because we are going to put this thing to work today. So I've been working the last week or so. I had a whole bunch of logs just laid out already and I've been cutting them into rounds and then bringing them down here to the wood yard and trying to, you know, kind of get enough, you know, ahead to where that I can really push into into next year's firewood and possibly even to the year after that so that's kind of my goal but right now i'm filling up my ibc totes i want to have it stacked in those first and then i can move those around as needed and then i'm going to start working on some other places and i also might use my totes because my totes already have seasoned firewood in them but i haven't stacked any underneath my shed yet and i really need to stack that shed full but the reason that I actually haven't started doing that yet is because I want to paint the shed and kind of keep the wood protected and everything there. Most of the wood in there is treated wood, but the stuff up on the roof underneath the metal is actually not treated. So I want to paint all that stuff and do that. And it's hard to paint if you've got it stacked full of firewood. So anyways, we're going to get right into splitting this pile of wood here. So we're just going to split as much wood as we can, see how much we can get done. I should have about two and a half to three cords stacked up right here. So a pretty good push into next year already.
I gotta say, that was some fast firewood. So I only loaded about half this trailer, but I done this, I forgot to start a timer or anything like that, but it couldn't have been no more than 15, 20 minutes. When you've got your rounds laying there right there beside the splitter and you don't have to move anything around and you pretty much just reach it and you're just keep cycling pieces through there, you can make some firewood really fast. So you can see I've still got some pieces actually up there on the grizzly bars. This is actually stacked up really high, but there's a little bit of empty space over here in the trailer. So I'm gonna take this pile off the top up here and I'm just gonna fill in these spaces and that's gonna have a pretty good size heaped up trailer load, which is probably gonna be pretty close to two cords in this trailer. And I would say that this was probably about three quarters of a cord of what I just now split. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this trailer evened out a little bit because I'm gonna raise it up and dump the load, you know, to the back so I can stack all this. And why do I even it up, even though I'm just gonna unload it? Well, because I'm actually gonna stack this into IBC totes and I can raise the trailer up and I want the load to pretty well be even and not be twisting the trailer whenever I'm raising this up. And that way it'll mostly come back to the back of the trailer as I lift it you know, evenly and it'll slide to the back evenly as I unload it. So anyways, I'm gonna get this unloaded. Stay tuned because we'll do a video and see how long it actually takes to split a full trailer load of this seven by 14 PJ dump trailer. So if you enjoyed today's video, appreciate you hitting that thumbs up button. And until next time, keep it outdoors and we'll see you on the next one.